A group of volunteers has been working all weekend on a project that they hope will cause you to stop and look around on 2nd Avenue and not because of all the damage from the Christmas Day bombing. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us more. Tornadoes, floods, the pandemic, uh, then the bomb. So it's been a tough year. Plywood boards have served as band-aids down on 2nd Avenue, temporary ways to block off the pain. But instead of a covering, it's becoming a canvas. You don't like the plain band-aids. You like the band-aids with the stickers and the stars and all the happy things. Much like the artwork itself, the initiative Let's Color Nashville has required a lot of hands. They worked with our, some of our local partners, the Civic Design Center, the local artists. Volunteers have been putting down the base layer like a paint by numbers so that professionals can give it a polish. And then I can just go in with details with the spray paint and just line it up and clean it up and blend. And the result is breathtaking. It makes you feel good when you're walking around and you see uh, these beautiful murals. Part of the inspiration behind this project is to give people a reason to come back down to 2nd Avenue and look at something more than just the destruction. If there's a business next door, pop in, get a coffee, get a praline, uh, get some ice cream or cookies. Of course, eventually these band-aids will have to be ripped off so that stores can reopen and stories can restart. Everybody wants to see this rebuilt and we all want to see it better than it was before. But the murals will still live on. Rather than, than just throwing them away, we're going to donate them to, to schools, firehouses, civic centers, civic organizations, and some of the businesses who help participate. Because just like a band-aid, who says the healing process has to be boring. Just it's a beautiful message and I think everybody needs to hear it. With photojournalist Michael Red, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Chris, thank you. And some of those plywood boards will also be taken to the Germantown neighborhood to beautify areas still impacted by last year's tornadoes.